All right, so uh, we're going to do Message in a Bottle by Taylor Swift. And when a student, because um, this is where I heard it, a student asked me about this song. And I was like, what? Message in a Bottle? Of course I know how to play Message in a Bottle. So I started playing it, and the student was like, that's not it. I'm like, of course it is. So I Googled it, and she's like, that's not it. I was playing a song, Message in a Bottle, by the band The Police. And I love The Police. They're awesome. You should check them out if you haven't already. Um, but anyway, uh, love The Police. Love, love, love The Police. Uh, one of my favorite drummers ever is uh, Stuart Copeland, drummer for The Police. Uh, but anyway, so it turns out it was a Taylor Swift song. And uh, it's a really nice song. It's a really cool song. And pretty simple. Okay, so. Uh, it just uses G, C, E minor, and D. And uh, the intro is just G for two measures. So it starts off with like a drum beat and just sort of like a G. Uh, I think it's like a synthesizer thing or something. Just sort of a G sound. Uh, then the first verse comes in, so it's G, and all of these chords are um, four beats, one measure each. So the first verse is G, C, E minor, D, G, C, E minor, D. And then the pre-chorus, the next part, is the exact same. G. C, E minor, D, G, C, E minor, D. And then, uh, I didn't even bother to type this out because it's like the same thing. I only wrote the bridge because that's the only thing that's a little bit different. Then the chorus is the exact same thing four more times. So, G, C, E minor, D. And then three more times for a total of four times for the chorus. Then, the next verse, those four chords again, twice through. The pre-chorus, exact same again. The four chords, twice through. The chorus, the exact same again. Those four chords, four times through just like the last chorus. Okay, then we have the bridge, and it's pretty simple. So C, D, C, D. Then it's C for three measures. So C, C, C. Then it's G, and it's just one strum because uh, this is sort of like a, a breakdown section where it kind of gets a little quieter. So G, C, E minor, D. Then it does it again, and this time with some lyrics. G, uh, C, E minor, D. And then it goes to the chorus, and it is the chorus four times and then the outro is you guessed it G C E minor D so pretty simple that's the song uh, there are a couple of little spots where uh, a part ends uh, after the first chorus, it ends on the D, and then there's a measure, four beats, with no chord, and then the verse comes in. So there's an extra measure there at the end. But when you listen to the song, it'll be really simple, really obvious. Uh, and then there's a couple of spots, I think maybe at the end of verses, or something, or the end of the pre-chorus, or something, where it doesn't strum the, doesn't strum the D for the full measure, it just kind of goes 
um, so E minor. So it plays the D and just lets it hang for the four beats for the one measure. So there's no extra measure there, but it's not strumming of the D for the whole measure. It's just one, two, three, four, then goes to the next part. Um, and again, it's really simple. It's really obvious when you check it out and listen to it, you'll see what I'm talking about. So uh, that is Message in a Bottle by Taylor Swift for ukulele. Easy. I know that you can handle it. Uh, yeah. I just checked my notes to make sure that, that was it. So there we are. Done.